just got off the flight, as you said. I want to tell you what they've said in the statement. They've said, well, we're disappointed that the deal did not go through, but we look forward to the opportunity of working and, or trying to work out a deal uh, with MTN or probably other, uh, other, other candidates as well in the future. Uh, do you, do you, how much, uh, would you give it any uh, importance at all to that statement that probably they, if, the chance, if they do get a chance, they would like to re-engage with uh, MTN at a future date? I think they would love to ring it at a future date. I also think that this opens the path now for some of Bharti's rivals to get back in the foray who had been otherwise precluded. And I believe that if it's really a situation where uh, protectionism is coming forth, then, you know, no one, neither Bharti nor MTN uh, nor anybody else will win. So it, it really is a question of um, uh, regular, regulatory impediment versus open competition. You're saying it gives an opportunity to some of the other competitors to come uh, get into the game uh, with respect to MTN, you mean? If the deal is called off now for, for regulatory reasons, there's an opportunity for this to be opened up again down the line, for six months a year down the line. There's no reason why any of our these competitors will not be in discussions with MTN again. Thank you. Well, one more question for you, uh, Bandi, before we let you go. Uh, when you say in rivals, do you mean local rivals or do you mean international companies might also look at uh, stitching up a deal with MTN? Um, I'm thinking international, but there's certainly been enough interest from local rivals, as you know, um, from Reliance in particular, that I think is not completely uh, late to bed. I think if the opportunity opens again, you can never say never. Thanks so much, Bandeep, for joining us.